special video. I finally did a corpse paint on my friend Ludwig here. This is the whole reason he came over this weekend and you've seen him in so many videos was that we were planning on doing a look like this for him. So the following footage was actually filmed with an iPhone because my camera decided to die again. I know I need to get a new battery but I'm going to show you how I got from normal looking Ludwig to this and then um, we will talk about it all at the end of this video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. We're just pulling up our reference photo. We're going to use a picture of, uh, oh god, what's his name? Tate Langdon. What's, what's his name? American Horror Story. That's the name of it. Um, this is the photo we're using. Hopefully they see that. I don't know. I don't know. We're not going to do everything that's in that photo. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to look like that, but... Anyway, the first thing I'm using is the Bailey Men um, Modeling Matte Paste, and I'm going to get his eyebrows, beard, and mustache down so that I can put powder and makeup over it without it hopefully showing through too much because I don't have any glue. I hope you don't mind that I'm touching your face. No. <laughs> so now that his brows are waxed down, I'm going to start with this um, water-based face paint. This is just white. I don't know where I got it. All right. Hopefully this is going to work. It's got a little bit of my foundation. I usually mix this with my foundation because... No problem. I'm too fucking white for the world. Alright, let's start. Okay, so. Oh yeah, that's gonna work fine. Alright, so I'm gonna apply it with this foundation brush. And then I'm gonna take a um, sponge and I'm gonna just kind of blend it in a little bit, not too much. Because if you look at Tate's makeup, it does, it's not totally perfect. It's kind of, um, you can like see his brows a little bit through it and stuff like that. So we're just going to see what we can do here. Keep in mind while watching this video that I have never done anything like this on another person before so this is an experience for us both now that we have the white base on I'm gonna set it with the Cody Airspun translucent powder <coughs> using probably just a large you know what I'm gonna use a flat foundation brush so I can push the powder more into his face. Get ready to be covered in powder. Sorry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Essence Smoky 2-in-1 liner and start trying to outline the shape that I want for the eyes which is not going to be quite as easy as I thought, but we'll figure it out. Okay, do you want to look and see if that looks like about what you would want? Does it look okay? Okay. You can turn. Tate also has, looks like, little points coming out from up here. Do you want me to add those, or are you okay? You want me to add them? Okay. Not a problem.
Okay, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to use the same Kohl eyeliner to fill in that. And then I'm going to go in with the Essence Cushion Gel Liner and go over any parts that need more darkening. Black eyeshadow or anything? I have. I'm going to set it with that. I'm going to set it with black shadow because this is a cream and then the other one's a liquid. Oh, okay. The next thing I'm going to do is take the Essence Cushion Liner and clean up the edges a little bit and darken it just a little bit more. Now I'm going to take shade 18 Black as Berry from my Essence Make Your Own Palette, this one here, and I'm going to set the cream product that I just put on his face, and then I'm going to also be coming back to this one to do some shading, but we'll get to that later in the video. Oh, let's see. I'm just going to use this Urban Decay brush. And... Not that he's really planning on wearing this for a long time, it's just we don't want it to crease during the process and while he does want to wear it. I'm going to go back to the Essence Smoky Eyeliner and I'm going to draw two lines going out from his lips to recreate or start to recreate Tate's skeleton teeth. Just going to go from the corner of his mouth. Not super far out there, probably probably to about there or so. And then in the other side, I can't see it. This is a preliminary sketch. So, does that look good to you? Alright. Sneaks brush and go back into the Essence Cushion Liner and draw in the teeth. How's that looking so far? Fucking good. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take a little bit more of the <clears throat> liner and just a little bit extend the already extended smile just to give that little bit of curve factor back. Oh. Oh. Your uh, red eyes make it even better.
<coughs> you can use that for the mm -hmm. So Ludwig has asked for a few, how many do you want? Just 32? He wants three lines going through one of his, I mean, going down his face on one side. So that obviously is not taken from a, uh, what's it called? American Horror Story, but this is something that he had asked for. Do you want them varied in size? Like maybe t one long, one yeah. a little bit shorter, one long? Okay. Like a scratch, a scratch. Mm -hmm. Mm How does that look? Is that something like you wanted? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so okay, so I'm gonna go back in with that same black eyeshadow, and I'm gonna start adding the shading. I'm gonna add a little bit. I'm gonna start adding it right at the line from the black to the white, and then I'm going to softly blend the black into the white to give the illusion of a shadow. <coughs> All right. Actually, I'm going to go over here just with this. Okay, so once I apply it, I'm going to start pulling it out gently so that it turns from black to darker gray and then to lighter gray. And you don't want to do too much of this or everything's going to start looking dirty. But it does add depth to the look. Okay, so for his teeth, or obviously not his real teeth, I'm going to just be using a smaller shader brush so that it doesn't get too crazy too fast. I'm going to start on the outer edge and just a little bit at the top. That's all you really need. You can also go over the lines in the middle a little bit, kind of make them more pronounced. Take that same black shade and 
I'm going to take this uh, flat, what is this, this is a blush brush, and I'm going to pack a little bit on there and just start here at the hairline and come down, just adding more shadow. Thank you. And bringing it down just like you would with a normal contour to kind of ultra slim the face in this case because it's supposed to be, you know, dead. And then <laughs> I'm going to do it a little tiny bit up here on the forehead. adding a little dimension so that we don't have a flat white face. Ready for the final reveal? Oh, yes. That's great. Fanny. Hmm? We're done. <laughs> looks great. Awesome. <laughs> I think it looks fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> see if the camera has charged and then we can... Okay guys, so this is the finished product on Ludwig. This is our corpse paint that we came up with, semi-inspired by Tate Langdon from American Horror Story. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and the step-by-step -step on how to get this look. If you recreate this look, please feel free to tag me in the pictures or the videos. I would love to see them. Thank you again so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. There should be a link somewhere on your screen. There's also a link to my blog, also somewhere on your screen, and all my social media is linked in the description bar. I'll see you guys in my next video.